Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In my previous tutorial, I helped a client with a problem of formatting in PowerPoint. My client sent me a PowerPoint presentation that contained what I call ransom note formatting. So I showed her how to clear the formatting by using the outline view and clearing the formatting for all of the text. Several viewers contacted me as a result and said, Danny, could you do a tutorial on some of the problems with cell formatting in Excel? I'm happy to oblige. All right, now I've purposely created my own version of a ransom note over here. As you can see, multiple font colors, font families, font sizes. So the problem isn't always what we see. The problem is the lurking danger with cell formatting. Now, here's a mistake that many Excel users make. They'll make a selection, and then they press the Delete key. Now, their expectation is that when they go back and start entering in uh, values, that they didn't get rid of the formatting. And then they start calling me on the phone. Let me use Control-Z three times to bring this back. When you press the Delete key, you're deleting the content in the cell. The lurking danger is that by only pressing the delete key, you leave the formatting for the cell in place. So here's what you want to do after you make your selection. Home tab of the ribbon over here in the editing group, you want to take a look at the drop down next to this eraser over here. So by pressing the delete key, all you're doing is you're clearing the contents from the selection. You can use the drop-down menu here to clear the formats, in other words, to leave the cell contents in place, or you could clear both formatting and cell contents. So in this case, I want to clear the formats. And so now I've wiped this uh, area, I've wiped this selection clean of the underlying cell uh, formatting. So now if I press delete, of course, I've deleted the content. And now I can go through two, three, four, three, four, five, and you see I'm entering in um, what I want, which is numeric values, numeric constants. So the problem is that we have lurking danger. It's not apparent. It's not as apparent as what we see with that PowerPoint presentation, that when we make a selection and delete, we may be leaving underlying cell formatting in place. And that's a big problem. Here's another way that we can see the problem that we have and a different way to solve the problem. So in this case, we have formulas which are adding up or summing the numeric constants. Now, let's again just say that somebody had deleted this and either accidentally or maliciously changed the formatting for the cells that should contain numeric content, constants into text. Now. I have a selection made, and I'm going to show you how you can quickly populate a selection. I'm typing in 1, 2, 3 as the constant, and when I press Control Enter, you see how it populates all of the cells in the selection. Now, visually, when we look at this, it should give us a clue that the entries are aligned to the left. By default, text entries align to the left. The second visual cue is we see the green triangles in the upper left corner. And we also have the menu over here, which is telling us that we have a number that is stored as text. What should be a number is formatted as text. And of course, we can't perform calculations on this. Now, let me show you two ways that we can quickly solve this. Of course, I could go back and, 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 and change it to, um, uh, to general, but that isn't always going to be efficient. What we want to do is we want to make sure that we're quickly converting any value that is stored as text that should be a number. So I'm going to use paste special. Over here in a blank cell, I've typed zero, and I want to copy it to the clipboard. Next, I want to make a selection for the range that I want to quickly convert uh, text values or text labels into numeric values. I do that by using Paste Special. So in the Home tab over here with the Paste Special dropdown, I want to open up the Paste Special dialog box. I want to use an operation. Now remember, zero is on the clipboard. What I want to do is I want to add that zero that's on the clipboard to the selection. Click OK. And you see how now the text labels have been converted to numeric values that we can use in functions. 
Now we can do something similar with the number one. Let me use Control Z to bring these back as uh, numbers stored as text. And this time, I'll type one in a cell, copy it to the clipboard. Second step, make your selection. Third step, open up the Paste Special dialog box. This time I'm going to right mouse click and I want to open up the Paste Special dialog box. Down here in Operations with 1 on the clipboard, what I want to do is I want to multiply what's on the clipboard, the number 1, by the selection. And now I've quickly converted those uh, text labels into numeric values. A really great trick. And I, I cover all these elements on my new uh, DVD. Uh, it's also available for download. Nine Essential Excel Skills. I make it available for Excel 2010 as well as for Excel 2007. And I invite you to visit my secure online shopping center. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.